Hey, just squad, welcome back to episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool Amazon here, and basically what this is, is a hiking shoe. Let me see for the one that we got right here from this brand. And for the one that we got right here, they call it 225. So this is basically what the package looks like when you guys first get it. Let me actually open up to show you guys what the inside looks like. So once you guys open up, and we see the box all needs to wrap up, but if you guys do take it out, here is basically what the inside looks like. Let's take out both of them. So once you guys take it out, here is basically what it actually looks like. So you see for both of these shoes, it's basically the same kind of design. One of them is for right and one of them for left. So both of them are the same. Let me just show you guys what one of them looks like. So here is what the shoe looks like on this side. Here is the back. Here is the other side. Here is the front. Here is the top. And right here is the bottom. So see the back right here, we do have an option for you to pull it out when you guys do put on the shoe. And then right here, we do have the lace for you guys to tie it when you guys do put it on. If you see the way how they design the lace, it's basically the same way as a snowboard boot. But when you guys do feel the material on here, it does feel like a high quality material. It actually feels really soft and very really smooth as well. But right here, you see we do have the brand logo. And here it does mention how the pot is waterproof. So if you guys do get water on here, it should be fine. If you guys can see the way how they design the actual boot, it definitely gives you guys the ankle support. It's raised up a lot, which is pretty cool. And throughout the boot, the material that's on here is breathable. So that way, if you guys do sweat a lot, that won't be an issue. And when you guys do feel the boot, it has a lot of support, both for the ankle, like I mentioned, but also for the toe and for the bottom of the shoe as well. If you guys can see the way how to design the bottom part of the boot, it definitely has a lot of support and traction on here so that we can use it for all kind of weather. So regardless, if you guys want to use it for icy road, snowy road, muddy road, rock climbing or whatever, you do have all those options available. But you can see for this section right here, there's actually a lot of support for the bottom. So that way you don't have to worry about hurting your foot when you guys do use it, which is pretty cool. And when you guys feel the inside, there's enough padding to give you guys that comfort and support like I mentioned. But that is basically everything that's on the bottom. Now I'm just going to put this on to show you guys what it looks like. And we'll also do like a waterproof test to see whether or not it's actually waterproof. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. Alright, so right here we got the shoe. Let me put it on to show you guys what it looks like. So first thing I'm going to do is take the stuff inside out first. Which is right here. Same thing for our side. Once you guys do that, then you just put it on. So you see how when I use the back part right here, it's actually very convenient for you guys to put it on. Let me do it one more time for this side. All right, so now let's tie it up. So I'm gonna see once you guys do put on a shoe, it actually looks pretty nice. But when you guys do feel it, it actually feels pretty nice as well. They do have a very nice material inside, like I mentioned, that's breathable. That also feels really comfortable when you guys do wear it. But the first thing that you guys do notice when you guys do put on a shoe is the fact that it does give you guys a very good support for your ankle, right here, and also for your toe as well. And then for the bottom of the shoe, it actually has a really good support as well. But let's walk around to see how it feels. So as I'm walking around, I can definitely feel that traction that's on the bottom that give you guys that non-slip material when you guys do wear it. So whether if you guys want to use it casually or if you guys want to use it during like the rainy season or anything else, it should be fine since it is waterproof. And we'll do a test in a second. And if you guys want to do any physical activity on here, feel free to do so. So for example, if I do jump up and down, It actually feels super comfortable when you guys do wear it. There's more than enough cushion on the bottom to give you guys that all day comfort and support. So here is basically a close up view of what the product looks like once you guys do put it on. You can see it does look pretty nice. But now let's do the water test to see whether or not it's actually water resistant or waterproof. So right here we do have the shoe. Let's test it out to see whether or not it's actually waterproof. So first thing I do is put this back inside. So that way we know if any of the water got inside that will get wet. So let's do turn on the water. So see how this layer, it did get wet, but the water does slide off really easily. But now let's take out the paper inside to see when it actually got wet. All right, so see when you guys do take it out, nothing got wet inside. So the shoe is waterproof, even though if you guys see this part right here, it's wet. So having that waterproof option is actually pretty cool. So that way, if you guys do need to wash the shoe, It's actually very easy and very simple since the water just slides off really easy. So that is basically a quick little test to show you guys that it's waterproof, which is pretty awesome. Welcome back guys. 
So Nazo Frick Test Supply definitely actually does work and she works quite well. So once we do put on the boot, it definitely gives you guys a lot of comfort and support, regardless of where you guys do use it. And you see when we did the waterproof test, it is waterproof, so that way none of the water can get inside, which is pretty nice. Especially when you guys do use it during like the rainy season or like snowy season. And I also love the fact that how it does have a very good traction support on the bottom when you guys do use it. So that way it's not to worry about slipping when you guys do wear the boot. But that is basically everything that's on the bottom. Now to come boxing and testing bottom. Now to answer the question of whether or not that's worth it or not. So for this boot, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are in the market looking for some high quality boot. That basically waterproof, give you guys that comfort and support. Give you guys a very nice traction and so much more. Then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.